Okay, so I'm going to make this brief little somewhat informative video of how you can turn, take regular birdshot loads and turn them into slugs. Because slug rounds are about a dollar a piece and birdshot's about 25 cents each. To get do this, it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's very effective. It's very quick. About average, once you get it down, and you do like an entire box of 25, you can normally do completely go through the entire process in about three minutes average from converting from bird shot to slugs. That's me timing myself and getting decent at it. It doesn't take long. It doesn't really, you kind of want to assembly line it to speed yourself along. There's just several steps to um, help make some stuff, items that make it a lot faster and easier to do. I was going to basically show you how I take 25 cent round bird shots and turn it into a slug. I wouldn't say it would be a dollar slug, but it's pretty nice, easily uh, powerful little slug. Um, I got most of the things here on the table. I can't I'm gonna be able to go in the entire process, but I can pretty much tell you what I do. It's very quick and easy. There's nothing much to it. The few things you don't have to make to do this, but just it just helps a lot. And that's a shell cutter tool. This is made out of two by four and a razor blade and some screws and washers. All this is is a two by four with a hinge in it that has a hole that's a little bit bigger than a shotgun shell. And I cut it right here. And then insert a razor blade right here. And it's literally just meant to cut the very tip to a crimp off of this. And how this works is you just basically put it in there, close it, rotate, close it again, rotate, close again. And you do this about four times, and eventually it cuts the tip off. Now all your bird shot is right there. You just take your bird shot and dump it off. And you have your tip left. This is one of the items I said you don't have to. You can take just a regular knife and just cut the very end of it off. But having something like this, you can do it very quick and assembly line it. Again, all it is is a two by four with a hole in it. Put a cut a tip of it, cut a portion of it off, about the length of just enough to get the very tip, and insert a razor blade, then tighten it down with screws. That's it. <clears throat> now that you have your already ready to go shell. You want it to be as smooth as possible, and sometimes you will get like a little bit piece of plastic sticking up. You can just take your knife and just somewhat trim it off. But the flatter you get, the better I found. This is step one. Step two, and again, you don't need a tool for this, you can just cut it out yourself. But try to make it quick and fast is this little tool right here. All this is is a piece of black pipe. It's half an inch that I've cut in a somewhat like a flute in it and I've hollowed out the inside. Normally this slug here will not fit in there because it's too small. But I've hollowed out the inside. Now the slug will fit in there a lot better. And that's so you can cut overshot cards, which is these. All this is is cardboard. Like you get your Amazon packages in. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll put it in my vise. And I'll take the cardboard and I'll put it over it. And take a rubber mallet of some sorts and just hit it. And just punch the hole out. And you sit there and you can literally do several of them a minute. Just, just hit it, hit it, hit it. And it just fills up the card. Take a punch or whatever and push out a bunch of them and you can do a good bit of these pretty quick. Again, you don't need this. You can basically take your slug, 
put it on a piece of cardboard, draw it, and cut it out with a pair of scissors. But this takes, you can do probably 10 of these in about 10 seconds. It's very quick and efficient just to make this small little cheap tool. This is uh, $2 in material. This is probably $2 again in material. It's very cheap and quick to make. And it helps you very long term to do this very quickly. Um, another thing, the Lee Precision's uh, casting slug. This was about $30 for this to make a perfect slug. It's a key drive 7 8 ounce slug. A lot of people say the 7 ounces are a lot more accurate because they're a little more nose heavy. The 1 ounces are just not as aerodynamic as everybody's just found. It's just, they're just a little more nose heavy so they fly a lot better. And I will say I've been getting very good groups with these. I'm not going to show you how to do this. I won't tell you how to do it. Um, you want to get this hot. And how I melt my lead is I use a grill, um, not a grill, um, a fry, a propane fryer. You don't be use like bull shrimp or anything on those open grills. I found them online for about used for about twenty five dollars. And I basically put a old Goodwill pot or an old used pot that I don't use anymore. On top of that, put my lead in there and I use that to melt it down. Then use a, a lathe. Uh, you're going to want to get this hot. And basically, you're going to have to do about anywhere from 5 to 10 pours before it gets actually to the temperature. And I found the best way is literally to dump your lead as fast as you can to get in there. In that little hole right there. As fast as you can, just pour it in there. Whatever excess you have, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I recommend you get a piece of wood. I use a two by two piece of oak, about a foot long, to help me with this. You're gonna wanna wear gloves and the outside, of course, it is lead. <sighs> and essentially, once you have your lead, your melted lead, you pour it in there. Again, the faster you can get in there, the better. Give it a few seconds. <clears throat> Take your wood wooden stick or a dowel or two by four or whatever after it's in there and you're going to hit this piece right here what that does it separates it breaks away from this it cuts that off and this is basically your end result stick it in there like that it's going to be in there you're going to separate it and you're going to turn it upside down and take your piece of wood and hit it and it will drop your slug out. Once it gets up to temperature, it it pours better. You get a nice cleaner pour, and it also releases better as well. And if you take a little bit of burnt wood and ash and soot and put it in there with the smoke, it lets you help release it too. It's very quick, very easy to do. It doesn't take me long to do several of these, and you get these nice smooth slug. Okay, you now have your ready-to-go um, shell. You have your overshot cards. This I found just these are more accurate. I've done a lot of testing. I'm trying to figure out. The problem is the wad here is when you put it in there, just plain. You can do this. Just put this in there just like it is. What happens when you fire the round? It actually, well, because it is a keyed slug, it tries to shove the plastic in these little holes and this will stick on there for a lot longer times and it'll kind of just not fly as accurate. These overshot cards, if you put these in there under the slug, it releases a lot quicker and you get more tighter groups is what I... Okay, you have your components ready to go. It's very simple. Um, You're going to want to the, the kind of wads I've been using the federal uh, birdshot um, 
you want a basically smooth wad on the inside. You don't want grooves or anything. Of course, you're going to have a separation of the fleshings, but the, some wads will have a groove in there. That's not going to work because it won't fit in there nice and smooth. You don't want a nice inner smooth one. What you can do now is cut about a quarter inch off with just a pair of scissors. Just kind of eyeball it and just look at it. You might need to trim it up just a little bit on the very edges. Just try to get a nice smooth top on it. Then I just place your other shot cards in there. And this is going to be something you have to play with to get the diameter right. You probably want it smaller than the actual slug itself. That's why if you see me put it in there, it doesn't fit all the way in this piece of pipe right here. You just basically use, I use that as a guide for the most part. Just put your other shot cards in there. Get a little extra absorbing. Keep the wad from getting shoved in the back of the slug. Just push it down with your thumb. Then you take it and just put it in there. Now, at this point, you're ready to go. Now all you gotta do is roll crimp this. And how you roll crimp it, there are tools you can buy online on Amazon, eBay, uh, Ballistics Products also sells a roll crimper. What a roll crimper is, is essentially just a piece of metal that's round and it spins at an RPM. You can put it in a just your standard drill or a drill press is what I use mainly. Either one will work. And you're basically going to put it in there and you're going to push down on it and it's going to apply heat and friction and it's going to cause a roll crimp on the slug, on the shell. Then you're ready to go at that point. You have a complete bird shot to slug conversion in about three minutes. And that's from start to finish. That's from everything from cutting to making your shot cards to trimming to making your slugs and roll crimping. And that's about my average is about three minutes. And it doesn't take much. It doesn't take long. It's very efficient. <clears throat> You're just melting down your old lead from the bird shot you did have in there. Granted, there's ball bearings in there, but your lead shot. You also um, can use wheel weights, um, car wheel weights. You have to be careful though, most because of um, health and uh, safety issues. A lot of wheel weights are now zinc. So you have to be very careful. Just look on the wheel weight. It'll have ZN. If it does, it's zinc. You also can take like pliers and crush it and see if it does. I'll put a photo up of uh, lead wheel weights and zinc wheel weights. Kind of easy to sink if you can get a hold of them. Now I mix the lead wheel weights with actual lead from the bird shot just because you also have a few more alloys in the wheel weights to make it a little harder get a little stronger uh, slug. It's very simple, very easy. Um, I'll throw up a video at the very end of this exact combination that I found is the best for it's out of my gun. It, granted, every gun's different. You may have to play with it just to see, but at 30 yards, I was getting uh, shots about that tight uh, with a red dot. This was two, three inch groups one flyer was <clears throat> that's very consistent though but because you're casting your own slugs there's always variables maybe you didn't maybe the cardboard was too thick too thin maybe one side of the slug was different there's a whole bunch of different variables that go into it um yeah i think that's pretty much everything if you have any questions you can comment on my vi this video on YouTube or Discord or whatever you have. Be more happy to answer it. Um, good day. 30 yards cardboard.
I am highly impressed by that. And that's 30 yards. I was kind of thinking the sand may be the best way. That cardboard, I, I'm other than one flyer, which you can't help sometimes, but that is two finger holes. Huh. 